Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. Lover's Leap welcomes hundreds of visitors from here and abroad every year. The romantic legend of Lover's Leap is based on the story of two slaves who, to prevent separation from each other, jumped together from this 1,700-foot high cliff. This breathtaking view is only one of the attractions here at Lover's Leap. One other, of course, is the food. And here to show us why is the resident chef of the Lover's Leap restaurant and garden grill, Denton McKenzie. Hi, Denton. Welcome to Creative Cooking. Thank you, Colleen, and welcome to Lover's Leaf. Now, you are the chef here, and I'm sure you have hundreds of persons who will visit from time to time. What are some of the meals you prepare for them? I love to prepare shrimp rundown uh -huh. and garlic shrimp. Great. So what are you cooking for us today? Today, I'm cooking jerk chicken with mango pineapple sauce. Sounds good. As you can see, I have my chicken over here with washed off with grace vinegar and I'm going to build a marinade for the chicken over here for you. I'm going to have just a little bit of water inside of the blender and then the thyme, I'm going to add the thyme to it. Just a little bit of scallion and five pegs of garlic. Just a little bit of ginger you could add to it. And then I'm, now I'm going to add the onion. And then I'm going to add the jerk season to it. Just a little bit of sugar to give it a nice flavor. Now I'm going to add the pimento green. And now I'm going to add one pepper. I don't want it to be real hot. Now I'm going to blend it for just a minute or two. And I'm going to pour it on top of the chicken. Now I'm going to leave it to marinate for an hour or two, or you could leave it overnight. I'm going to put it over here. This one, it's been seasoned up an hour before, and I'm going to replace the chicken on top of the grill. I'm gonna like leave it for on the grill for 15 minutes or more. Now over here I'm gonna make the mango pineapple sauce. First, I'm gonna add grace pineapple. And then I'm gonna add grace mango juice. Now I'm going to add the pine to it. Just a little bit of honey. And a little bit of soy sauce to give it the brown color. And a little bit of nutmeg. Now I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon powder to it. Now I'm going to leave this to boil down for at least 15 minutes. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of the marinated sauce and the mango pineapple over here. As you can see, it's ready to go on the chicken. I'm gonna chop it up. Hi, 
Hi Denton. Hi Colin. From the smell of the chicken, now I know why persons keep coming back to Lover's Leap. Not just for the view, but of course for the food. Yes, yes. So what have you served up the jerk chicken with? Today I serve it with roast sweet potato. And that's grown in abundance also yes, in St. Elizabeth. Yes, miss. And you have garnished using some radish roses and peppers. Yes, miss. Great. Denton, thank you so much for sharing this wonderful meal idea. And I'm sure persons will keep coming back to Lover's Leap just to have your jerks chicken. Yes, miss. discovered recently that there's a lot more to Lover's Leap than the romantic legend. Mr. Dennis Staple is here to tell us about it. Hi Mr. Staple, welcome to Creative Cooking. Welcome to Lover's Leap. Now let's talk about the history surrounding Lover's Leap. People from all over the world come to Jamaica, they hear about Lover's Leap and they come here just to look at it. Just to see the just view and the, the view, view is breathtaking. Exactly. And some of them explained to me and told me that they never see a place like this in their whole life history. So why this place is so beautiful is going back over the years. And this is where the slaves jumped off? The out? slaves supposed to mm -hmm. jump over there, mm -hmm. but into the sea. Mm -hmm. But it is impossible for them to reach to the sea from here. But it's pretty, we're pretty high up. Yes, we're very high up. Mm -hmm. And going back over the years, they says slavery used to be into the cave under. So we're actually sitting on, on top, top of a cave. Of a cave. A very deep cave, but a very, long one. Very long cave. Mm -hmm. They entered us down the bottom there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they find the place, they say they find all the shackles and things that are going back. But I don't know how true it is. It sounds as if it may have gone back to slavery. Exactly. Way down. Mm -hmm. Far out. They say when they escape off the ship, mm -hmm. they used to swim ashore. Oh, some okay. of them. So they use the cave for shelter. Oh, okay. The people, everybody come here, it's breathtaking for the, you know, the, how beautiful the place is, you know. So it's nice to be, you know, born and grow here. Yes. They make me feel proud to know I'm a part of it. That's why I have to return. Mr. Staple, mm -hmm. it is so wonderful I could stay here all day. I know. <laughs> but I thank know. you for coming and Welcome. sharing this information with us. Welcome. And let us Welcome. invite Jamaicans to come up to Lover's Leap. That's right. And enjoy place. the attraction. Beautiful place. So thank you. Welcome. And just before we go, here is a Grace food and kitchen tip. Protect your favorite tablecloth from food stains by spraying it with a fabric and upholstery protector. The protector will prevent stains from setting into the fabric if used 24 hours before serving food on it. And that's our show. Remember you can get in touch with us at Grace Kitchens by phone, mail or email for this and any other exciting recipe of your choice. Till next time, thanks for watching. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking, and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 7.35 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs, demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, It's Morning Time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 7.35 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it. <laughs>